Stop talking. Pooja ma'am told you all the way to sit yesterday properly. Faces from. By staying optimistic and refusing to give up, despite the challenges that come our way, our inner strength endures. Resilience, grit, agility, compassion, and gratitude, these were the defining traits of 2020 and 2021 that helped us get through the pandemic with ease. A very good morning and warm welcome to our beloved principal and director, Ms. Rashmi Nand Kyolia. Vice Principals, Headmistresses, our special guest, our alumnus, Mr. Shan Shurkat, Supervisors, Teachers, Parents and Friends to this year's Annual Day Celebrations of Grades 4 and 5. A grateful heart is the beginning of greatness. Prayer is understanding the power and wisdom of God in nature. We begin today's ceremony by invoking the blessings of the Almighty by reciting a verse from the Holy Quran. The surah will be rendered by Saeed Muhammad Faisal Urhaman of Grade 4J. A'udhu billahi minash rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim والتيني والزيتون وطور سينين وهذا البلد اللمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم مجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأهكم الهاكمين The beauty of music enlightens the soul and fills it with delight. Our vocal ensemble is all set to enthrall you with a mellifluous rendition of Indian classical fusion songs. So get set to be empowered, enchanted and enthralled as our melodic maestros transport you to another world where the ordinary becomes extraordinary.
dazzling display of creative energy and soulful singing. It is a landmark day for DBS Dubai. We are excited and delighted to bring back in person annual day celebrations with a bang. It is a day which unfolds the rich pageantry of DBS Dubai as our students demonstrate their prowess in acting, singing, and dancing on the big platform. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are ecstatic, euphoric, exultant, over the moon, as DBS Dubai is turning 20 in March 2023. We officially start our 20th anniversary celebration through the DPSD Torch Relay. We request you all to kindly rise and welcome the torch bearers, Aditya Bansal and Haripya Venkatesan, the head boy and head girl of primary, as they bring in the ceremonial torch. The torch, a manifestation of knowledge and inspiration, celebrates the spirit of DPS Dubai. This torch will be relayed on to the other grades until next year as the 20-year celebrations continue. It unites one event with another. May we request our beloved principal and director, our vice principals, headmistresses, and our special guest, Mr. Ishan Shaukat, to inaugurate today's event by augmenting the gleam of the flame, symbolizing DPS Dubai's ambition to continue to serve as a beacon of light. Thank you, ma'ams and sir. Inspirational purpose, a trailblazer in educational innovation, phenomenal versatility, and a passionate focus on well-being and sustainability. We are fortunate to have a mentor and leader in our principal and director, Ms. Rashmi Nantiolia, who epitomizes a brilliant blend of these leadership qualities. Ma'am's zeal to touch the sky and untiring efforts to chisel out the best in each individual have gone a long way in taking DPS Dubai to unimaginable heights in 20 years. May we request you, ma'am, to kindly address the gathering. Good morning, Ishan, parents, teachers, and students. We are delighted to welcome you to our campus after a long hiatus to celebrate the annual day of grades four and five. It is also time to celebrate the coming of age of DPS Dubai as we complete 20 years in the challenging and invigorating environs of Dubai. Our school has grown from strength to strength, and we begin our celebrations today to mark our 20th anniversary. Our school report will inform you of our journey and our tremendous successes. We have much to be grateful of and much to be proud of. You are aware that recently we had our school's inspection by DSIB, that is the KHDA. The inspection, I call it an MRI of our school. International inspectors 
there were eight in number this time, they descend on our school for four days and thoroughly and impartially evaluate our school against six predetermined standards. It ranges from leadership, teaching learning, school management, resources, etc. It is extremely rigorous, believe me. Every metaphoric carpet is overturned, every drawer is unsealed. There is nowhere to hide. But as it happened, my fears were unfounded and there was nothing to hide. Came the inspection and our school performed like a well-oiled machine. Chirpy students were the epitome of courtesy and energetic learning. Classes were abuzz with teachers doing what they do best. It was magical. You know, I was afraid for a time that because of the COVID, the kids wouldn't wish the teachers or, or the inspectors. But every child wished Every child did what they had to do. Every teacher came on board and every parent was there to support us. And I'm pleased to tell you, therefore, that our school did extremely well. The report is confidential at this point, so I can't tell you every detail. However, I can tell you what the inspectors told us at the debriefing after the inspection. So they said, Parents are extremely complimentary about the school and proud that their children study here. Tick. Governors, wow, they said. Another tick. Students are absolutely brilliant and love to learn. Tick, tick. And a big hand here. Now this will sound immodest, but I have to say this. Leadership is outstanding with a strong vision that permeates through the ethos of this school. And the list went on. At the end of it, we were 18 indicators up. Now, you know, in perspective, overall there are 81 indicators and 86% of our indicators are either very good or outstanding. So that's... We were relieved and feel blessed. Thank you, dear parents, our deepest gratitude to you for your unstinting support in all our endeavors. Honestly, I mean it. Our overwhelming pride in our children, so well behaved, idealistic, curious, and hardworking. Our admiration for our dear teachers who work selflessly with utmost dedication. Our gratitude to governors who spare no resources for the school and empower us to feel a belonging for the school. Thank you. And I haven't finished yet, I still have a few things to say. At this point, I would like to warmly welcome Ishan Shokat. He is our alumnus. He used to be, let me, um, I've written down, he, was in the, he graduated from our school in 2017. And at that time, he was a dancer who would set the stage on fire, believe me. You know, the girls were mad about him. And he was a formidable foe on the basketball field. I mean, he was the sports captain, and if he got the ball, you couldn't take it away from him. So we are so delighted because we look forward and we look backwards also. And, and you know, uh, students like Ishan and many others of whom we are so proud when they come back to our school, we are filled with joy. Ishan is today an actor, a, a film producer. He's uh, quite famous actually, he's a celebrity. Thank you so much. And um, he, though he's graduated from Indiana University, he has chosen to follow his heart and his passion, and that's what DPS Dubai teaches people and our students to, to be confident and to be who they want to be, the best versions of themselves. And I want to tell you of his, the one little incident that I remember of his resilience and his strength of purpose. 
you know, we were playing a very high-powered finals uh, of the CBSC cluster basketball. And we were in this very uh, stadium, which turns into a basketball court. And we were losing very badly at halftime. And I'd asked uh, my governor to come. And uh, I went to these sweaty boys, and I said, what rubbish, you can't lose. My boss is here. So Ishan said, how many goals do you want us to win by? I said, well, at least 10, 15, you'll have it, he said. And there it was. We won by more than 15 or 20 goals. So that's what our students are. Um, and lastly, I would like to say that I believe that the success of this school is the collaboration that we have, the, the way the family works together, all of you stakeholders, parents, students, teachers, leadership. And this inspectors describe this as a miracle. And my favorite quote is, if we work together, mountains can be moved and miracles can happen. And I'm indeed fortunate at having been given, given the privilege of being the principal here. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am, for your words of inspiration and unparalleled guidance. With a visionary, resilient, and trailblazing leader at the helm, DPS Dubai will continue to be the sign of excellence in the field of education. It is a momentous day as we gear up to celebrate a significant milestone in our school's journey. Aditya Bansal, head boy, primary, and Haripia Venkatesan, the head girl, primary, are here to take us on a nostalgic journey of DPS Dubai's two glorious decades of growth and achievements. Eddie Canto, an American actor, once quoted, it takes 20 years to make an overnight success. His words prove beyond doubt that it takes time, effort, persistence, sacrifice, grit, and a sprinkle of luck to achieve success in any new initiative or establishment. As they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. In fact, most things great weren't. Ladies and gentlemen, DPS Dubai turns 20 in March 2023. It has been a long journey of learning and camaraderie, of fabled feats and triumphant tales, which we have traversed on the path to excellence. DPSD has grown by leaps and bounds since 2003 and now stands tall and majestic on a sprawling campus of 6.83 acres. At DPSD, it is not about what we do, but about why we do what we do. It is this philosophy that prompted us to adopt the Golden Circle model in our journey of accomplishing the school's vision, the what in the context of the nest of circles. This school zealously promotes a global curriculum by placing emphasis on academic excellence, actualization of talent, global citizenship, and pastoral care. It provides myriad opportunities for children to shine in each of these arenas the how in the context of the nest of circles. The school consistently communicates why. The purpose of the school, which is to teach students mechanisms for discovering their individual talents early while preparing them to be future ready. We are delighted to share that our principal and director has been awarded the coveted UAE Golden Visa for her outstanding contribution to education. Ma'am is the recipient of the prestigious SIF Kalpana Chawla Women Achievers Award 2022 in the academics category. And she has also obtained the education profession license in school leadership. Under her mentorship, it is no wonder that our school has reached, has grown from strength to strength 
Today, 85% of our cash day inspection performance judgments are outstanding and very good. And you will be delighted to learn that the school leadership has been rated outstanding in inspection since 2010 and is a key strength of the school. The sterling CAB CBSE board results through the years are a testament to academic excellence at DPSD. Our grade 12 results have advanced from 66.6% in 2007 to a brilliant 89.15% this year. The school has produced several Gulf toppers through the years. DPS Dubai has always shined bright in the international benchmarking tests. What a remarkable achievement it was to secure second position in grade 4 and 10th position in grade 8 in Thames 2015 and clinching the top spot in the UAE in Thames 2019 for both grades 4 and 8. Our school was among the top performing schools in UAE in PISA 2018. And our scholars continue to, continue to place a trail of glory at the national and international Olympiads. DPS Dubai has always been a trendsetter, a school of many historic firsts. From being the first in the country to host a girls cricket tournament to the launch of the invigorating read program to nurture a lifelong love of reading. From the introduction of jute bags to transform DPSD to a no plastic zone to adopting the co-education system, DPS Dubai has always blazed new trails for others to follow. Students at DPS Dubai are empowered to strive for excellence through a multitude of programs launched by our principal and director. Inter-school MUN and multidisciplinary annual days. Programs to fuel each child's innate skills and passion. Pertinent and progressive themes of the year to spur learning while building school spirit. Live, a program promoting real-life application of concepts. Fire, free, innovative, relevant exploration. And rare, reasoned, articulate and reflective exposition to hone critical thinking and writing skills. BYOD, allowing students to bring their own devices to make learning more engaging and interactive. RFID, introduced in 2015 to bolster student safety. Design thinking to inspire students to find ways to solve real life problems Hark via experimenting and prototyping. Harkness Stable approach for pro to promote student led learning. FOT, focus on TIMS, and FOP, focus on PISA to emphasize the importance of international examinations. Chain Reaction, the illustrious alumni of the school are engaged to facilitate winners at school events to inspire our current students to work towards excellence. Community engagement programs under the banner Gallup, Global Academic, Local All Students Network and Philanthropic Engagements. Outreach programs, Enduring Edge and the Art and Science of Parenting. The summer model of technology integration to harness the power of technology to maximize learning. These programs pave the path for student-led ingenious initiatives such as Nutrient Sensor, Roadmap 2017, EcoHub, Building the World's Tallest Tower, Locus, an AR app for navigation of the DPSD campus, COP, a teacher punctuality tracking app, and DPSD Hub, that consolidates our events and active activities. With the advent of modern and innovative teaching methods, we have constantly upgraded our physical and digital infrastructure. DPSD Sports Ground 2006. The majestic multi-purpose sports arena 2008. Vibrant Kinder Learning Center 2008. Olympic size swimming pool in 2010. Two new extensive libraries, taking the total to five in 2011. The advanced e-library and ICT-enabled classrooms in 2012. The magnificent milestone block in 2015. The grandiloquent Marhaba World in 2016. State-of-the-art tennis courts in 2016. Sensory integration room in 2018. STEM-based outdoor play area in kindergarten in 2018. Yoga studio at fitness center in 2018. So we revamped Sprawling Greenfield in 2019. The Avant Garde Steam Labs in 2019. Cameras and speakers. IFP boards. Tabs for KG1 and Grade 1. And the Serene Zen Zone in 2022. 
We at Deepest Dubai stand committed to the country's sustainable development. We are a signatory of the school commitment to the sustainable development goals and therefore a member of the Global Schools Program. This year we have integrated the SDGs into our curriculum to promote climate action. Our principal and director, Ms. Rashmi Nand Kyolio, is the winner of the Distinguished Conservation Leader Award from DEVA in 2017 for her role in supporting environmental sustainability. Our institution is the pioneer of numerous sustainability initiatives. Vertical gardens designed by the engineering graphic students in 2018. Warriors for Environment project in 2019 where we upcycled old uniforms and bed sheets into eco-friendly bags solar panels in 2019 to reduce the school's carbon footprint. The Green School Project launched in 2019. Vegetables are grown in the school's kitchen gardens. Innumerable beach cleanup and recycling drives. What a trendsetter our projects have been. DPST was chosen as the School of Arts Ambassador in July 2016. Today, we have an embedded long-term commitment to happiness and well-being by adopting the PERMA pillars. We thrive on positive emotion and engage in flourishing thoughts, actions and words. We are indeed a happy school. Along with creating a healthy and happy educational context, we ensure a safe learning environment. Inclusivity is a hallmark of our school. We offer an enriched curriculum, subject choices and modifications such as dynamic cells for pastoral care and facilities such as ramps, bridges and elevators thus making the school fully accessible to all. DPS Dubai supports students who require personalized pathways to learning through the Rahul program known as Pole. The school thus supports students who aspire to reach greater heights in their field of excellence. Community and parents are valuable stakeholders in creating a harmonious system. You, dear parents, are the towers of our strength, the laurels that the school has garnered would not have been possible without your support. Parental engagement continues to flourish under the four pillars of CHA program. A plethora of eminent personalities have visited our school. Our students have had the golden chance to interact with luminaries such as Kailash Satyarthi, Shakuntala Devi and Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. DPS Dubai has produced many illustrious alumni whose contributions at national and international levels have been significant. Our past is adorned with achievements and accolades. Our present is a trailblazer and we create magic in what we do at our school. We are future ready and focused on our goals. We owe it to our beloved principal and director, Ms. Rashmi Nand Kyolio, for building a shared vision for the school. To all teachers for taking a bold step towards new learning. To all motivated students, brave enough to respond to challenges to be the best versions of themselves. To all parents for giving children the roots to grow and wings to fly. And finally, our generous and foresighted management, also rated outstanding in the KHTA inspection. Thank you. Thank you. DBS Dubai's inspirational journey to the pinnacle of success, to, of success is nothing short of miraculous. Some dreams are small and some big, and then there are unimaginably wild dreams. DBS Dubai inspires its students to dream the impossible dream, gives wings to fly free and glide to unimaginable heights. Today, we have amongst us one such dreamer, believer, and achiever, Mr. Ashan Shokat, our exceptionally talented alumnus. Mr. Ashan, a graduate in finance and theater of arts from Indiana University, he was conferred with the award for best acting debut at the Cannes World Film Festival 2022 for his riveting performance in the short thriller film, Deadline. It is a matter of great pride that the movie will screen at the most prestigious Cannes Film Festival 2023, in addition to film festivals in London, Paris, Milan, India, and the UAE. May we request you, sir, to kindly address the audience. There is 
an armed robber at my front yard and I need help. Please send someone immediately. Ma'am, uh, you've called 811. This is Above and Beyond Services, where we help you call your family and friends that are no longer here with us. For all other emergencies, please call 911. No, but please, could you please transfer me? I have a little daughter. <laughs> Ma'am, like I said, if you want to talk to your dead husband, find a way to get the money and reload your wallet. Hello and thank you for calling Above and Beyond Service. Hello and thank you for calling Above and Beyond Service. Is that you? Excuse me? <laughs> Who is this? Good morning, respected principal ma'am, vice principal ma'am, headmistress, teachers, faculty, and all the parents here. Before I begin, I just want to thank our principal ma'am for those kind words and taking me down memory lane. I'm just so glad you remember all this so vividly. And what makes me the happiest is that I could leave such an impression on you and the rest of the school. So thank you so much. I just want to say, coming here today is such a bittersweet feeling for me a place that I called home for 14 years, and I still do. Now, the sweet and bittersweet comes from the fact that when I walk down these hallways, I get memories of all the personality and character-defining memories that I've had over here. The teachers who have helped me and raised me to be the man that I am today. And even seeing all the classrooms where I learned every single thing from my ABCs and numbers all the way through science, politics, economics, but really, most importantly, life. And well, admittedly, the bitter comes from the fact that there will always be a child in me, there will always be a student in me that just really wants to perform on this stage one more time or play on this basketball court one more time. Because everyone knows, those who know me really well knows that I take great, great pride in the fact that I had DPS Dubai across my chest on my jersey. So I would really, really love if that could happen one more time. Now, I was asked a very interesting question while doing a radio interview while promoting the film that you just saw. And they asked me, how did you get into something as unconventional as acting when you studied in a CBSE school? Admittedly, I was a little confused by the question, but I know what the host intended to ask. Why are you not a doctor or an engineer? Now to that I replied, I don't think it's the curriculum that defines a student's career, but rather that the culture that the school sets for the student. And DPS Dubai only dared me to dream to be whatever I wanted to be. There was a moment in my life where I thought I was going to be a basketball player professionally, and I thought of this very, very seriously, by the way. There was also a moment in my life I thought I was going to be a dancer, and for a very short period of my life, I thought I was going to be a singer, but thankfully my brother suggested that I save my singing just for the shower because it wasn't my greatest talent. But the point being, my thoughts were not limited. My ambitions were not limited. And for sure, my dreams were not limited. I feel like each of us are defined by the upbringing that we have in our childhood. And DPS, DPS allowed me to be whatever I wanted to be especially something as unconventional as an actor. In fact, it was this very stage that convinced me that I could perform in front of an audience. It was these teachers that are still here today that taught me the skills of expressing myself and letting go of any inhibition. And it was this amazing school that gave me the opportunities, that gave me the confidence that I carry with myself everywhere that I go today. So to all the parents over here, I just want to say, I think you should be very, very proud of these students and also of yourselves 
because many years down the line, days like these, annual days, are what they're going to hold closest to their heart, like how my annual days were for me. Days like this will open their imagination to the endless possibilities and potential that they can offer and enable them to dream big. So thank you so much for having me today. I don't want to take more of your time because I know that there, there are future actors, doctors, engineers, politicians in there waiting to express themselves. And I know what they feel like, trust me. But before I leave, I just want to tell our principal ma'am a little story. I know the DPS is celebrating 20 years next year. And I've been here since day one. And every time I live around here, I live close to the school, so I always have to cross the school when I go home. And uh, anytime someone's in the car with me that doesn't live in this area, I just automatically start reminiscing about school and all the memories that I've had over here. Until somebody told me recently, Ishan, we've heard this story at least 15 times. Because what happens is subconsciously, anytime I pass this school, it takes me back to all those amazing, amazing memories that I have. And the only person I can thank is you and all the teachers and faculty over here for giving me, honestly, the best upbringing that I could have that I carry with myself every day. Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for inspiring us to do our best. We wish you luck in all your endeavors. DBS Dubai is exploring through innovative activities, not one, but three powerful themes this academic year, and they are Future forward in the year 2070. Hashtag UAE forward and fabulous at 50. And holistic health, mind, body, and soul. Additionally, the UN's 17 sustainable development goals have been creatively and seamlessly integrated into our curriculum. Today's musical focuses on SDG 13, climate action. Climate change and its raft of associated environmental issues is the Everest of all problems. The thorniest challenge facing humankind. The good news is that we can tackle it and we are already at it. DPS Dubai has always promoted students' critical thinking abilities and sustainable environmental behavior through trailblazing projects to inspire environmental stewardship in students. The musical Around the World in Eight Days aims to inspire us to reduce our ecological footprint while, while increasing our ecological handprint. It will highlight diverse climate change issues and more importantly, the ambitious efforts taken around the world to reverse the nefarious consequences of climate change. Dear audience, it is time to unfold the colors of merriment and transport you to another world. So get set to journey around the world in eight days to delight in delightful drama, dazzling dance sequences, colorful costumes, majestic props, and breathtakingly beautiful 3D graphics. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Hold your breath as we now present before you the much-awaited, spectacular, and scintillating musical Around, Around the, the World, world in, in Eight Days. days.
Prithvi. Enjoyed the break from school. Kaveri, you call this a break? Forced entrapment at home with doors and windows closed because of the suit and smog. Delhi is becoming more and more polluted every day. What say, Ahmed? Oh, what I wouldn't do for some clean, fresh air. Here's school. It's good to see you back. Had trouble getting to school? Here's Alaknanda as well. Oh, the traffic congestion. I couldn't bike to school because of the smog. Ugh, the emissions. Ugh, the carbon in my lungs. Why can't someone do anything about it? The world is full of pollution. I'm feeling ill. <coughs> Ma'am, why is our climate changing? What are the visible signs of climate change? Permafrost in the Arctic, which is thawing 70 years ahead of what we had expected. Antarctica is melting three times as fast as a decade ago. Ocean levels are rising quicker than expected. If we do not control our human activity and live more responsibly, more than 150 million people will find themselves in coastal floods by 2050. <gasps> like the devastating floods in Kerala? <laughs> then are we all doomed? I feel so helpless and hopeless. Pack up children. Climate change is the moral challenge of your generation. We are the first generation to feel the sting of climate change. And we are the last generation who can do something about it. Then how about doing a project on climate change? Mm, how about travelling to different parts of the world and learning about the impact of climate change? How about going around the world in 80 days? Like Jules Verne's book. 80, 80 days? days? We don't have the luxury of wasting time. We must act fast. Okay. Around the world in 8 days. <laughs> around the world in 8 days. Group hug. Where will we go first? Somewhere very close. Your group hug has given me an idea. To Uttarakhand we go. Alaknanda, we will visit your namesake valley first. a beautiful place. Himalaya ki god mein, the forests, so cool and verdant. Truly, in all things of nature, there's something of the marvelous. These Himalayan woods would not have been here if not for this great man, Sundarlal Bahuguna. An apostle of non-violent resistance against environmental destruction. Let's talk to him. Welcome children. I believe you have set out to fight climate change. These forests are our shields, our guardian angels. They prevent floods and land erosion. 
They must be saved. Oh, tell us how you saved these forests, these rhododendron trees. It all started in 1973 in the Alakananda Valley. It was the women, Doom Singh Negi, Bachni Devi, and many other women who were the first to save these trees from loggers. Dragon. Bhutan? <gasps> the kingdom of happiness?
People call Bhutan the kingdom of happiness? Because our king says that gross national happiness is more important than gross domestic product. Wow! So in what ways do you encourage happiness? Our tiny nation has pledged to be carbon negative. Carbon negative? How do you do that? Our constitution has made it mandatory that 72% of our land must be covered by pristine forest cover. Our forests provide a carbon sink of over 3 million. But sadly, we face the worst brunt of climate change. Oh, we are so sorry. But how? The third pole is melting. <gasps> the the third pole? Yes, apart from the Arctic and Antarctic, the Hindu Kush Himalayan region has stores of more snow and ice than anywhere else in the world. And that is why it is called the third pole. It is the source of ten rivers. These glaciers are melting at an alarming rate, making lakes which could burst flooding a land of happiness. Oh no! What have we done? I hope institutions and countries will work to reduce environmental degradation. It is time to bring the UN Sustainable Development Goals to life. Well, there is a very happening school that is in the last of its teens. DPS Dubai. This socially responsible school was in the news for pioneering the use of jute bags to carry school books and stationery. Everyone in the school works together to bring about a sustainable global society. Well, there's no doubt our next destination must be sustainable DPS in Dubai. How to be an urban farmer, sowing seeds in the urban garden for the next months, nature's bounty, sale of organic vegetables at the market day at school. And what do you have? Brinjals, ladyfinger, tomatoes, cucumber, aloe vera, herbs, flowers. In short, we grow all things found in the grocery and pharmacy. But how did all this wonder and splendor come about? Well, it is all thanks to our principal and director. Ma'am wanted the Green School Project to focus on sustainable and healthy eating habits, which is in line with the UAE's food security agenda. Learning is so real. 
Come join our assembly. We will show you how we teach our KG students to grow plants and also adopt plants for their vertical gardens. Live sustainably and reap the fruits of their labor. visiting the most populated country in the world? You mean China? Yes, the fastest growing economy. Ministry of Health, industrial pollution has made cancer China's leading cause of death. So, what is China doing about it? Let's go to the eastern city of Nanjing and see how human ingenuity can combat climate change. What is it that we'll see in Nanjing city? Vertical forests. Oh! Vertical forests?
a wonderful idea. Trees to regulate the climate by absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere. From DPS Dubai in China, we've learned that if land resources are scarce, we can grow upwards and create aerial vertical gardens. Is there a country that is doing its utmost to create new climate-friendly technologies? Yes, the land of the rising sun. have created hybrid electric vehicles. They have the highest fuel efficiency and lowest emissions. Think innovation? That is Japan. You see, though we are so environment conscious, we are plagued by earthquakes because we are situated along the most active earthquake belt. The Pacific Ring of Fire when earthquakes occur below the ocean, they trigger tidal waves or tsunamis like the one in 2011, which was the most devastating the world has ever seen. Children, I would like to take you to the classic Japanese theater. It's called Kabuki. We will watch an opera called do not let the seas swarm you, which shows us the devastating power of tsunamis and how sea levels can inundate land and cause havoc.
Japan has showed us climate change is not the time to bury our heads in the sand, but the time to pioneer industries of the future. Let us visit Brazil and see what is happening in our rainforests. <laughs> the guardians of these forests. We do not cut trees. We only take what falls on the ground. But now, they burn the trees for cultivation, timber, and industries. Now, instead of forests, we have scrub land, a savanna that burns easily. You'll see, one day, they will set fire here and we'll all be gone. We cannot live anywhere else as our bodies cannot adapt outside of the rainforest.
cultures and traditions of these innocent indigenous people. Has the Amazon reached its tipping point beyond which the forest will not recover? If the Amazon were to turn into a consistent source of carbon emissions, it would accelerate global warming. Scientists fear that its continued destruction could cause drought and deforestation. Oh, take us away from this place of doom and destruction. Oh, take us to a happy place. Children, the night is always the darkest before dawn. Be resilient. There is a place that we must visit. We must attend a funeral. A funeral? Poor thing. Who is dead? We would have to visit Alaska to witness a tragic funeral. Why Alaska? Why the Arctic regions? My dears, the most visible impacts from a globally warmer world would first occur at high altitudes. You see, glaciers are so sensitive to climate change that they begin to melt at the first sign of temperature fluctuations. So, the funeral is for? For the glaciers, which are melting and dying at an alarming rate. Children, I am Fagri, a scientist and your guide for the day. This is the Sperry Glacier. It used to be closer. Since 1901, the glacier has shrunk from more than 800 acres to less than 260 acres. It's like watching the Statue of Liberty melt. Let us pay our last respects to this glacier as it collapses into the seas. Its death will have many repercussions for the creatures of the water and us.
touch the of it. I shall mourn the loss of this glacier along with all these beautiful creatures who are on the verge of extinction. Let's fight for Earth. How would you like to be at the forefront of student activism and join climate activist Greta Thunberg in New York? As a human race, it is our collective and individual responsibility to preserve and tend to the world we live in. Our planet needs support. Global warming we must stop. We as humans must be kind. No challenge is too big. If we make up our mind, let us unite as one fraternity to save Earth for all eternity. If we collaborate and innovate, we can make our future great. Breaking news. Word has got around. The social media is agog with the news. Come March 2023, DBS Dubai that nurtured Gen Z completes 20 years. And the illustrious alumni pour their tribute to their alma mater. The first graduates are even bringing their spouses and babies. Truly a moment of infinite pride, glory and joy. Expect fanfare, year-long celebrations as DPS Dubai celebrates its 20th anniversary, heralding the third decade of its spectacular, scintillating, stellar role in imparting joyous learning. We invite you to a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. to tell us no or where to go or say we're only dreaming a whole new world a dazzling place I never knew but when I'm way up here it's crystal clear that now I'm in a whole new world with you I can show Sideways and 
and under All the magic of it right We are sure you enjoyed the performance as much as we did. Let us give a thunderous round of applause to all our performers. We now have Ananya Sandeep of Grade 5B to propose the vote of thanks. Good morning, one and all. We express our heartfelt gratitude to our beloved principal and director, Ms. Rashmi Nanth Kyolia. Thank you for the inspirational theme for the musical. It has touched our hearts and we are sure everyone will contribute in protecting our Mother Earth. We thank you from the bottom of our heart. We would also like to mention our deep sense of appreciation to our vice principals, headmistresses, the event in charges, the school manager and all the departments for their hard work and dedication in making the annual day a grand success. We also extend our generous thanks to our special guest, our outstanding alumnus, Mr. Ishan Shaukat, for his inspirational presence. You certainly have added to the charm of this event. We thank our parents for the strength that you infuse into us. Last, but by no means the least, we say a big thank you to the students. You rocked it with that unbeatable energy that you generated on the stage today. May we request our beloved principal and director, our vice principals, headmistresses, our special guests, Mr. Ishan Shaukat, and all the event in charges to kindly come up on stage for a group photograph. <laughs> 